Hi, it's Lindsay Smith from the Buy, Sell, Love Durham team. Thanks for tuning into another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. Um, it's my opportunity every week to share with Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington just what's happening. Now, first off, I'd like to share it's Mother's Day coming up on Sunday and I want to wish all the mothers out there just the happiest of Mother's Day and hopefully, hopefully you get an opportunity to, to share that the joy of that day any way that you can given the circumstances that are out there today. So today is more of an April update. Um, the, it's, um, it's not the most positive update, but I'm going to share you the black and white of what's happening. So here's it. Here's the skinny. Um, real estate is all about supply and demand. So what we're seeing now is the demand is slipping. So I'm going to quickly go through the number of units sold. So the number of homes sold. In March in Oshawa, we had 217 detached homes sell. Last month in Oshawa, we had 97 sell, which means we lost 120 units month over month. Whitby, we went from 142 sales in March to 58 sales in April. We lost 84 sales. And then in Clarington, it was the same, 155 sales in March. We dropped the 76 sales in April, which means we lost 79. We're seeing a the number of homes sold dropping. Now, real estate again, supply and demand, the supply side is staying almost identical. We had 23 fewer homes on the market <clears throat> than we did at the beginning of, um, of last month. So we're almost flat for that. So when you see the number of sales dropping, but the number of homes for sale staying basically the same, the prices start to slip. It's exactly what's happening. In Oshawa, the average detached in March sold for 618,000. Last month, we ended the month at 573.5 for a net loss of about 44,500. Whitby, we went from $787,000 average detached in March down to 707,500. And in Clarington, 651,700 dropped to 624,000 of a net loss of 24,500. So we're seeing the value slip. Now, we are or we are moving into a recession. There's two recessions that are simplistically viewed as this. One is a V-shaped, which means that, that once the recession starts, it drops quickly, but it bounces back quickly. The other way of looking at it is like a U-shaped where it goes along, it drops off, and then it kind of follows around the bottom before it kind of moves back out of it. That's what happened in 2008 in the US. That's that whole drop, and it took the longest time to come back. I truly believe this, that we are in this situation for one reason and one reason only. We've got a pandemic on the go. Once we get a handle on that and we're allowed to kind of get back to work, I think you're going to see that V-shape of a bounce back up. Just remember that in September, October of last year, we saw an increase in value that was meteoric. It was incredible. And then we've seen a drop. So we've seen both happen. It stands to reason that there's so much pent up demand out there that once things start to get moving again for home sales and we're allowed to sell like we, we typically are because it's not business as usual, I think you're going to see us bounce back. If you've got any questions about this, I'd be more than happy to uh, share my, my knowledge and some of the intuitive things that I know that it's tough to share on a video. I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555 where you can catch me at the email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a great week, Oshawa with the in Clarington.